This new free game is amazing. This one is rivaling Call of Duty. This game is back from the dead. These two are completely unknown. This one looks incredible. And this one takes the genre to the next level. Have you just downloaded Steam and want the very best brand new free to play games? Well, you're in the right place. Every month, there's tons of new free games, including a lot of bad ones. But I've compiled all the ones that are worth playing into one list. This is Undercover Dudes, and these are the top 15 completely new free to play games. Let's get straight into it. Starting out, we have Calibre, the team-based tactical third-person shooter that is now available on Steam. Previously released to an underwhelming response, Calibre has completely reworked their unlock and monetization systems that put the focus on fun, featuring their more than 60 operators with unique abilities and movement. The gameplay is still as good as always though, throwing back to Ghost Recon with snappy gunplay and a more tactical angle than its competitors like Rogue Company. All of this culminates into a fantastic shooter experience, well deserved of the very positive rating on Steam. Next up today is a fast-paced maze action game called Hot Heat Reset, where you play as an unknown speedster who's in pursuit to recover his stolen lands. The key draw to Hot Heat Reset is its difficult but incredibly addicting gameplay. Add on the music and it's a great combo overall. With its large explorable level layouts, awesome 2D neon graphics, detailed explosions and lots of playable characters, there's a lot of reason to play this game. Now talking about another free to play game, we've got the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. That's right my friends, with over 700 unique champions, billions of customization choices, fantastic graphics and an awesome blend of PvP and PV action, there's no wonder why Raid has been downloaded over 80 million times. Now to celebrate Raid's 4th anniversary, they've asked me to invite 4 guests to the party. So I'm going to choose my 4 favourite champions, starting with Astralon and Minia because they're both amazing with their dual swords, along with Turvold because he's one of the biggest hitters in the game, and finally Battlesage because of her epic support abilities. Now in very exciting news, Raid is going on a dragon egg hunt in April where you can win some some insanely good prizes. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below, copy your in-game player ID and head over to egghunt.polarium.com from April to 14th to May to 15th. Now if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win some amazing in-game items and even real life prizes, ranging from legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, now's the time. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get a free starter pack worth over $30, including an epic champion and much more. Next we have Zumbai Blocks 2, the official sequel to the 2000. 2013 free to play browser zombie game. This game is straightforward but has a great amount of polish as you fight zombies, both in first person and third person, across a procedurally generated city. The gunplay and movement are honestly quite addicting. Rolling to avoid enemies while spraying their blocky models down with bullets doesn't really get old. As you go through the game though, you need to find resources to defeat bosses, allowing you to upgrade and unlock loadout tiers. Add on the insanely low system specs of an i3 processor, 1GB of RAM and a GT1030 and this game is perfect for many of you guys out there. Next today is Light of Illyria, an open world third person exploration puzzle game. In this game you traverse ancient alien temples and ruins with the goal to restore power to a sleeping civilization. It's got some great world building, cool puzzles and overall is a very calming experience, very different to most of this list. With a playtime of 2 or so hours, graphics powered by Unreal Engine 5 and an original soundtrack, there's definitely a lot here. Take all of this and consider that it's made by university students and overall it's an awesome effort and well worth a try. By far one of the most awesome releases on this list is Landfall Archives, a collection of unreleased content from totally accurate Battlegrounds developer Landfall. This includes previously unreleased games, demos, interactive slideshows and even an unreleased version of totally accurate Battle Simulator from 2017, there's just so much content to explore. The collection of 23 projects is way too much to talk about individually in this segment, but if you're a fan of the totally accurate series, there's no doubt you're going to like this. Yes, some of these projects were unreleased for a reason, but the cute graphics, super interesting game mechanics and just overall transparency from the studio is more than enough reason to check this one out. Next up today is Miniland Prologue, an open world survival game with a super cute aesthetic. In Miniland, you start with a small patch of land that with time you can expand with biome tiles that you receive every day. 
As the game progresses, you expand more and more, craft new tools, explore caves, and fight your enemies. It's naturally quite inspired by Minecraft, Stardew Valley, and the such, but the 2D top-down view combined with the awesome pixel graphics and great game mechanics means this game is bringing something new to the table. This next game is one of my personal favorites and it's called Revenant, a 2D pixel art style shooting game set in the near future. Besides the awesome graphics, the big differentiator with Revenant is their precise aiming system. Basically, you need to aim on the enemy for shots to hit, which really means your aim has to be on point and something different for the 2D side-scroller genre. This plus the fantastic fast-paced, high-risk, high-reward gameplay cultivates into an awesome experience, especially one from an indie developer. Adding another completely different genre to the list, we have Love Burb, a rhythm-based dating game about finding love one date at a time. This is just a really fun and cute game. It takes the awkwardness out of traditional dating games and puts it into a cute package. Next is one of the best Call of Duty mobile clones that is now on the PC, and that game is Combat Master. While graphically this game is definitely not the best out there, it makes up for it with pretty decent gunplay but absolutely insane movement, featuring bunny hopping, slide cancelling and directional changes. At its most fundamental level, it's COD Mobile on the PC, which I'm sure a lot of people are keen for, but the movement takes it above a mere mobile paw and people are really getting into it. I also really appreciate the refreshing perspective from the devs. No loot boxes, no advertisements, no pay to win, no fancy login screen, it's hop in and play. Next today we have Shogun Showdown, a turn-based combat game with roguelike and deck building elements. The first thing that hits you is definitely the graphics. The pixel nature is awesome and this in combination with the fantastic soundtrack is an unbeatable combo. The gameplay itself doesn't disappoint either. It's fun and the game mechanics are interesting but not too difficult to pick up. Featuring three combat locations, four attack tiles, eight quests and two challenges, while this may only be a prologue, there's still a decent amount of content to explore. To top it off, all you need is a gig of RAM and integrated graphics, so anybody can play this game. I absolutely love my top-down roguelite, so it made sense why I had to include Disfigure Prologue in this list. Expanding the genre with a new mechanic, in Disfigure you play in an arena shrouded by darkness but surrounded by enemies, and you have to switch between circle and cone visions in order to survive. One allows you to see all around but not far, while the latter allows you to see far in one direction, and this brings so much suspense to an already intense game. As per the genre, as you kill more enemies you get more upgrades, of which there are over 80, but there are also 6 unique enemies, a boss fight, and overall quick gameplay with sub 10 minute runs. It looks awesome, it's easy to run, and plays great. Check it out. Next up, we have The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, a point-and-click visual novel type game about Sonic tragically dying that was released as an April Fool's joke. Gameplay-wise, it's pretty much going through dialogue, interrogating the guest, and selecting some items to keep the story going. The visuals are fantastic, the production quality is high given it is an official game from Sega, and it's overall a solid offering despite it being for April Fool's. Next up we have X-Define, Ubisoft's attempt at dethroning the shooter juggernaut of Call of Duty. Featuring back to basics movement and gunplay, detailed customization, abilities that put the focus on gunplay and no skill based matchmaking, X-Define is defying the industry norms. This has resonated with gamers and overall the package is very fun, check out the beta right now.